subscribe and download over 1 million code snippet including this tutorial from codegive.com, link in the description below. Title, Working with PyTorch when not compiled with CUDA enabled. Introduction PyTorch, a popular deep learning framework, provides support for GPU acceleration through CUDA. However, there may be instances where PyTorch is not compiled with CUDA enabled, and you need to work with CPU-only capabilities. In this tutorial, we will explore how to use PyTorch in such scenarios and provide code examples to get you started. Step 1, Check PyTorch Installation Before diving into the code, it's essential to ensure that PyTorch is installed on your system. You can install PyTorch using the following command. Step 2, Verify CUDA Availability To determine if PyTorch is compiled with CUDA enabled, you can run the following code snippet. If CUDA is available, you'll see the first message, otherwise, you'll see the second one. Step 3, Using PyTorch without CUDA When PyTorch is not compiled with CUDA, it automatically falls back to CPU operations. You can continue to use PyTorch as usual, but computations will be performed on the CPU. Here's a simple example. Step 4, Adjusting Code for CPU Operations When working with CPU-only PyTorch, it's crucial to be aware of potential performance differences compared to GPU-accelerated operations. For large-scale models and data sets, the absence of GPU acceleration might result in slower computations. Always consider optimizing your code for CPU usage if needed. Conclusion In this tutorial, we explored how to work with PyTorch when it is not compiled with CUDA enabled. We checked for CUDA availability, demonstrated basic operations on the CPU, and discussed considerations for working with CPU-only PyTorch. This information is valuable for users who may need to switch between GPU and CPU environments or for systems where GPU support is not available. Chat GPT